NextGen is a waste industry leader, providing reliable product and process solutions to customers in the global recycling, waste, and material handling markets. NextGen offers a host of recycling and scrap processing equipment to customers around the world, including horizontal and vertical balers, mobile scrap shears and wire processing systems, conveyors, and other equipment specifically designed for the continuing trend toward material recovery facilities. A material recovery facility, or MRF as it is commonly called, is a location where recyclable materials are collected, sorted, and baled for transport to consuming mills. MRFs can process many types of recyclables, such as office paper, newspapers, corrugated cardboard, steel, plastics, and aluminum. Industry experts estimate that recycling facilities process more than 80 million tons of recyclables per year in the United States alone. With single-stream curbside collection programs on the rise and residential recycling efforts expanding throughout the world, municipalities and waste management companies big and small are seeking new ways to collect and process recyclables more quickly and cost-effectively while minimizing the effects on our environment. The whole goal is, is to put less material in a landfill and recycle more. We design our equipment to then separate those materials and get the most value for them. From conveyors and sorting platforms, to magnetic separators and eddy currents, to optical sorters and balers, NextGen has the industry expertise and advanced technology to implement recycling solutions for any size facility. Our engineers will work with you to design the proper process flow and will be on site throughout the installation and startup phases to ensure you achieve the desired throughput in overall results. Every system is definitely unique. That's why you have to take the consultative approach. There's a lot of variables in every system, and each piece of equipment in the system is customized to meet the customer's needs. More than 50% of the MRFs in operation today have switched from manual to automated sorting systems to increase their throughput, and NextGen's consultative approach and innovative products are leading the way in productivity. One such example is at Pelletary Waste Systems in Madison, Wisconsin, who recently built a fully automated MRF to process single-stream residential recycling for the city of Madison. Well, the city of Madison has uh, their own recycling trucks. They pick them up at the, at the curb, they pick it up single-stream, which means all of their paper, cardboard, plastic, tin, aluminum, glass, is all put into one cart. They pick that up, they bring it to this facility, and they dump it on our floor where we then turn around and process it. Pelletary chose NextGen to design and equip their MRF because of NextGen's customized approach to the project. The reason why we went with the NextGen team was uh, because of the, uh, the people that were involved. NextGen was able to bring ideas to the table that we hadn't thought about. And, uh, you know, that's always important that the industry knowledge is there so that they can, uh, you know, provide the best system instead of what we think is maybe the best system and really isn't. Here's a quick look at how single stream recyclables are processed at the Pelletary Waste Systems MRF in Madison, Wisconsin. Residential recyclables in the city of Madison are collected curbside and delivered to the MRF five days a week where they're deposited onto the tipping floor. A front loader scoops the recyclables into a rotating metering drum which arranges them in an even layer and moves them onto a conveyor to the first pre-sorting station. At this sorting station, workers remove plastic bags and any non-recyclable items. From there, a conveyor moves the material over an OCC screen, which removes the cardboard items, transfers them onto a separate conveyor belt, and deposits them into a collection bin for bailing. Then the material passes across another screen that removes the glass and fine particles of paper and deposits them into a trailer to be hauled away. Next, a fiber screen directs the paper-based materials away from the plastic, aluminum, and ferrous items. The paper materials are conveyed to a manual sorting area where workers separate office paper, newsprint, and miscellaneous paper into collection bins for baling. Next, a conveyor transfers the remaining materials beneath a cross-belt magnet, which removes the ferrous materials, such as soup and vegetable cans, depositing them into a collection bin to await baling. With the ferrous items removed, the remaining materials then pass through an eddy current, which sorts out the aluminum items, such as soda cans. The cans are directed onto a separate conveyor and deposited into a collection bin. From there, the remaining plastic items travel through a computerized optical sorter, which identifies each item by plastic grade. Then, an air classifier uses a blast of air to move each plastic item to its appropriate collection bin. Any items that are not recyclable are transferred to a compactor for disposal. 
Once a collection bin is filled to capacity, the contents of the bin are moved onto the final baler infeed conveyor, which transfers the material to a Galaxy 2 RAM horizontal baler. The compaction RAM within the baler compresses the material to a high-density block, which is automatically tied with high tensile wire as it's ejected from the baling chamber. From there, a forklift operator moves the bale to the appropriate holding area inside the MER, where it will await transfer to its final destination. At NextGen, one of our key strengths is our personalized approach to helping customers find the right solution for their current needs and identifying trends that can better equip customers to accommodate future needs. Single stream uh, is different in every area of the country. There's, there's different mixes up here in Wisconsin. People like their bottled beer. There's a lot of glass in the system, so you have to account for that. We felt very comfortable that NextGen would provide us a system. They'd come in and they'd talk to us and they'd be able to figure it out and do the consultative selling to be able to figure out what's exactly in our stream to make sure the equipment matched up with what we needed. We didn't feel like they were just trying to sell us and move on. We felt like there was there was some there was some the desire to really learn what we were trying to do, what we were trying to accomplish, what our stream looked like and how we could get to the end goal. The single stream MRF at Pelletary Waste Systems processes an average of 14 to 15 tons of single stream recyclables per hour. With recycling centers like this, municipalities and waste management companies can better serve customer needs, reduce the amount of waste deposited in landfills, and in many cases, enable the recycling program to rapidly pay for itself. The next gen products make it easy to separate single stream curbside collected recyclables into the most valuable uh, commodity separations possible. The purity fractions of the commodities are, are more and more a demand of the processors, so our equipment helps, helps separate the material into the most pure fractions of commodities to, uh, to give the processor the most value of the materials. When it comes to providing recycling and scrap processing equipment that increases efficiency and maximizes throughput, rely on NextGen. Absolutely, I recommend NextGen. I think that they are, would be a good partner for anybody that's looking for an equipment partner. Want to learn more about adding NextGen equipment to your operation? Simply visit www.nextgenbailers.com to contact the team member nearest you.